Probably not the time to go swimming. I can't see a patch of clear seeded old jellyfish. Just leaving Loch Melford. On the boat chat, anyway. It's the Gulf of Cary Brecon opening up there between Jura and Scarborough. And I've got a headwind, and it's been North wind for a few days, but as soon as I set off on a journey, I've got headwind. So, a nice modern Yanmar pushed me along nicely at about four knots with a bit of a tide, I think, as well, and uh, main sail as well. Get down to uh, Craig House today. That's a rock for the unwary between those two islands there. It's just about a wash there. I'm just sailing past the Gulf of Caribbean. And Craig House and this it's a topsail schooner. It's just come in and it's gonna come alongside the jetty, I think oh yes so. It's a beauty. This is the weather I've got today and uh, it's been like that yesterday and it's going to be again too. It's misty and uh, rainy and winds from the south, southwest and uh, I want to go in that kind of direction and I want to get to a harbour called the Newer which is a drying harbour on the Ayrshire coast and I need a good settled weather to do that so I might be here for a while yet. Coming down this afternoon from Jura, coming down the Isla coast now, and then approaching the uh, just turn around Tar Scare here, one of the offline rocks. There's lots of rocks and uh, reefs on the way down. And I'll be turning into Port Island, stay the night there. Well, I left Port Island in the evening, and uh, I'll have a night at sea tonight. That's the uh, south end of Isla there. Distance. And you see the Kintai Peninsula about 28 miles away over there. The tip of this. Tire over there. I'm just uh, coming through Sandler Sound now, and this is where I was anchored up about a year ago now. Sandler. Six thirty a.m. Sandler Sound. I'm just three quarters of a mile from Danua. I'm coming to pick up cargo. Came into Port Patrick and about uh, midnight, and uh, I was trying to manoeuvre around the harbour to turn it around to, to face out of the harbour, and I reversed into a plastic bag. And this is just no ordinary shopping bag; it's a heavy-duty bag for life, you might want to call it. <laughs> and uh, this morning, I thought I'd have to get this thing off because uh, I can dry the boat out, but. Um, it would mean manoeuvring amongst some small boats and things like that, so I jumped in and got this thing off. But really, it was causing vibration, severe vibration, and it was causing uh, 
me to not be able to maneuver at all and I had to cling on to these people's boats and they got I had to get out of bed and help me in fair play they had retied me and when I woke up this morning they had gone and uh, thank you very much to the uh, people on the catamaran I don't know who you were and where you went to but uh, thanks very much Plastic bags. Oh, wish people wouldn't throw me the water. I'm down from Port Patrick this morning, that's the mill of Galloway. Unfortunately, I've got just about a headwind and I can't leave the sail, which is, great, which is a big pity. I've got a good strong tide under me, though, I should uh, make the point of air before the tide turns. Just coming into Ramsey now. I don't know if you can hear those motorbikes. They're still racing. That's where I'm going there, alongside that yacht in between those two fishing poles. Nice to be sailing. There's been a lot of motoring on this trip down from Scotland and uh, that's Ramsey right in the distance. I'm just heading around the corner of Mold Head in a minute. And, uh, don't, tell, don't ask me how you pronounce it properly. Nine and a half miles out now. Waited a while for the breeze to pick up. I'm doing about five knots. Okay. Olive Mountain over there. 